Today we make nachos on the griddle. Had some leftover hamburger meat, had a few items around here. So that's what we're gonna do. Make little nachos. It's a little past lunchtime, I'm hungry. So let's get after it. Welcome back to Griddle Cook Eat More. As you heard, we're gonna make nachos today. Uh, so it's gonna be some delicious uh, stuff here. I love nachos. Actually, this is out of town in Nashville and it was at some place that had some really kick-ass nachos. So anyways, it's got me in the mood for some nachos. Had some stuff around here. Just need a few items to get it going. So let's check out the ingredients. All righty. Let's check out what we got working with here. So over here, got me some shredded uh, cheddar in Monterey. I bought a couple little blocks of it, shredded it up. Uh, it's always good to use uh, shred it yourself, so better than the processed stuff. Um, some of the toppings we're gonna do, uh, we got lettuce, jalapenos, diced tomatoes, little shredded lettuce. Also, I got sour cream uh, and some cantina style uh, salsa from Walmart. So my leftover ground beef that we're gonna cook up. And over here, I had some uh, white corn tortillas so I fried those up. I'll insert a little clip of that on the Blackstone. That's it, that's everything we got here. So it's gonna be time to head out to the grill, and get that uh, ground beef cooking. So, and then uh, I'm just gonna whip up a little spice blend for it. So get it on the grill, get it going. So meet you out at the grill. All right, here we go. Get that ground beef down. Get that broke up. I feel like my ground beef is pretty fine, so. Break it up real good here. So here I got a little blend of, uh, it's like some, uh, this Mexican, it's made by Noor, it's kind of like a chicken base with some other flavors in it. It's really good. It's great uh, when you're making a, uh, you know, Mexican restaurant style rice. Uh, it's awesome. And on top of that, I got chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, I think I said that, uh, some cumin, onion, so mixture of stuff in here. We're gonna get that on there. Mix that up. Hit it up with a little water. that stay warm. All right, let's grab the rest of the stuff and we're gonna build them. All righty, we're back. So I made this little foil tray here. That's where we're gonna cook our notches on. Then we can take this, put it right on a tray. Uh, so get some chips down first. Get these beautiful homemade chips. Some are a little darker than others, but that foil was kind of hot when I first started going. So this is just for me, so I don't need a whole lot. So kind of get them centered here. Maybe a few layers. Now I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put some cheese down. Let's 
throw some meat on top. That, maybe a little more cheese on top. Nachos, man, you can do them however you want. Whatever toppings, whatever meat, whatever kind of chips, it don't matter. This is what I like, so this is what I'm doing. And another good little twist, there's a bar that we used to go to down at the lake. They did nachos that they fried up their own flour tortilla, so a little different from using a corn tortilla, so I think we're good there on chips. Let's go ahead and get a little more cheese down. Kind of bind this up. Get a meat. Finish it off with a bunch of cheese. So good with all of it. It's gonna be cheese delicious. The other good thing, having this in there that way when you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steam it so uh, under this dome. That way it keeps the, the water from running on your nachos. But just but you got all the all the steam to, to Go. Let's take a peek. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're getting there. All right, let's pull this top off. I think we're good. Excellent. Got a great melt on there. Here's an awesome thing to have a big old pizza peel. Got it from Restaurant Supply, so it's awesome for picking things up like this. So we just scoop it up, take it inside. We're gonna get inside, uh, and then from there, we're gonna get it built up with the rest of the toppings and enjoy it. All righty, let's get these suckers topped up here. So I think first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put some jalapenos on there. Get those all spread around. We're gonna do some uh, of our lettuce. And then toppings, you can do whatever you want. Beans, uh, lettuce, green onions, regular onions, white onions, yellow onions, it don't matter, all kinds of onions. Tomatoes, black owls, a lot of people like black owls. I'm not a big black owl fan. Not a huge tomato fan, but for whatever reason, I do like them diced up on, on nachos, so. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and throw, we do a little sour cream here. Get a squirt out there. Kind of drizzle it across here. Excellent. And last but not least, get a little salsa up on there. That's huge. A little bigger than what I need for lunch, but it's gonna get the job done. All right. Well, you're gonna meet me at the table here, and then we're gonna give these things a try. All righty, here we go. Look, look at these bad boys. Some good eating right there. Oh yeah, it is. Love me some nachos. So here you go. Nachos on the Blackstone. So great thing here, we don't need an oven. Don't need a broiler or any of that. We can just whip it up all on the Blackstone. So if you're out camping, don't have any access to any appliances, you're good to go. You can still enjoy these nachos. So, all right, let's uh, see if we can get one out of here. Cool. All right, there we go. Got a little beef. No tomato, but got a jalapeno. Spilling everywhere. 
That's good. A little more meat on that one. Making your homemade chips, so much better. So, luckily I had some leftover from making tamales or something like that, so. Whipped up my own chips. Picked up the own ground beef, all that good stuff, so. Really good, we'll give one more a try. And then I'm gonna get out of here so I can sit there and enjoy these. Tear, tear them up. That's it, man, that's for a win right here, for sure. Football season, great to make on the weekend. Uh, and you don't have to have a blackstone, you can do it on your stove and make a huge ass tray of these in your oven, get them melted up, and so. Uh, but it's just fun to do on the blackstone, so. And you don't mess up in your kitchen that much too, so that's all the benefit of the blackstone. So, that's it. You guys have a good day. I'm gonna get, get down on these nachos, and I'm out. Oh, before I'm out, Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you hit that like button. Those likes help my channel grow. And make sure to leave a comment too. So all that stuff helps that algorithm to get my videos out there so more people see them, more people subscribe. So makes it more fun that way. But uh, that's it. I'm out. Peace.